So Outriders comes with four classes to play with. The demo is almost a month old and the full game comes out next week, well about 7 days from this video being released. And today I rank the classes the demo offers in order of which I feel they are most effective. This is, and I feel it's important to mention, is based off demo gameplay obviously, and things will change going into the full game no doubt. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the demo has almost been out a month, and I won't lie, I went into the demo already in reality knowing exactly which class I was going to use, but in saying this, I was pleasantly surprised by what some of the other classes offered and in fact did. So let's talk about each and how I feel they perform in the limited demo we have. So my demo started with me using the trickster. For me a class I knew I'd love due to what we already knew in terms of playstyle etc etc. And to be honest I wasn't let down. In games like this the class which is built for that close range combat in your face combat suited what I wanted down to a T. And that's exactly what the trickster is, from its healing mechanic to its abilities. It's made to get in and out of places really quickly, doing as much damage as possible, and this is that class. It's the best out of four classes this game has, which does this. Now in terms of what the demo offers and what most people are doing, which is farming for legendaries, killing captains over and over again, the trickster is just super efficient. It just makes easy work of everything, and it's because of this I feel it's by far the best class in the demo right now for like I said what the demo offers. But when it comes to the full game and what we will have in terms of upgrading, playing through harder world tiers and then end game expeditions, I don't think it will be as straightforward as I'm seeing people think in terms of the trickster just running through all. That certainly will not be the case. And although the trickster is super efficient in what we have in the demo right now, in terms of end game, I'm not sure at all this will be the best class. Now from the trickster in the demo, I went on to use the Pyromancer due to people within my stream demand I suffer in terms of trying to farm on the Pyromancer. I think it's because many people feel the Pyromancer within the demo is the weakest class. So the Pyromancer it was, and to be honest at first I fully understood why people thought this was the weakest class. In my opinion it just doesn't offer what the other classes offer in terms of ease of use. It's definitely a class to think about more, I figured this out right away. A few things threw me off with it. As I was so used to playing and farming on the trickster where things were really really easy, then moving onto the pyromancer is like the opposite ends of the scale. The trickster has twisted rounds and a great healing mechanic. The devastator has those reflect bullets and a great healing mechanic. The technomancer has blighted rounds and a great healing mechanic. The pyromancer has the worst healing mechanic in terms of what we're doing in the demo and how efficient it is and doesn't in the demo have anything like the others offer to make farming way more efficient. But that doesn't mean it isn't capable of doing such. It just takes way more working out. The Pyromancer in the full game will have Volcanic Rounds and other great abilities. I feel for what we got in the demo though, the Pyromancer kind of pulled the short straw. But in my opinion people, when it comes to end game, I actually think the Pyromancer might just be a cut above the rest. Definitely the trick stand, the Devastator anyway, but we will see guys. So from the Pyromancer, I went on to use the Technomancer. Now the Technomancer was a class I actually planned to use after my Trickster as I love the look of what the techie offered in terms of its abilities. And while using it I can say without doubt I loved every second of it. To be honest the Technomancer is made out to be that kind of sit back, summon weapons and pick off enemies that are far. But in my opinion this isn't what the Technomancer is, it isn't what it offers at all. It's just as capable of any other class in terms of being in the middle of a fight. Now in terms of the demo and what we have the Technomancer is the best all round class. It's great for not just farming, it has abilities on offer here for almost everything and all scenarios. I love the fact you can use your abilities like the Cryo Turret to concentrate the enemy's aggro, taking it off you. This for me was just one instance of the abilities that shined here. Also its blighted rounds are just barbaric, as good as if not better than the Trickster's twisted rounds, which are amazing too. So yes the Technomancer for me felt like the all round class, it felt like it had a little of everything. Where the Pyromancer felt like it was a class you had to really think about, the Trickster is a class in which you didn't really need to think at all, and then we have the Devastator which we'll move on to now. So the Devastator was the last class I used within the demo, and to be honest I knew a lot about this class by the point I got to getting around to using it, because people kept going on about the Reflect Bullets mod, and it's all you need to use, which I understand that point. If we are only farming Captains and Legendaries, the Reflect Bullets is super efficient. But what about everything else the game will offer? 
So the Devastator within the demo felt to me a lot like the Trickster, with just more in terms of that tank we all knew it was going to be. Now with his earth based abilities for the most part, although I like the way in which they looked, I mean becoming a golem flying through the air and punching the ground, they look absolutely incredible. But to me there wasn't anything special here which I couldn't really get elsewhere, besides the obvious in that reflex bullets ability, which is by far the best ability on offer within the demo at all 4 classes if used right, especially like I said for what the demo offers. It is truly devastating, pun intended. Now what I did feel on the Devastator which I only truly otherwise felt on the Trickster was the ability to be amongst a group of adds and knowing I will be capable of escaping without dying. On the Pyromancer you are looking to cook somebody to get their health back which isn't the easiest to do within the demo and what's on offer for the Pyromancer. On the Technomancer unless you are set up with a decent weapon although it's entirely possible to escape danger you do have that little bit of panic sometimes. And the Trickster and the Devastator you don't really fear being amongst adds because it's easy to get health back and take out adds with the abilities on the offer here. Although I will say the Trickster is still the best for this, the Devastator is a close second. But all in all the Devastator is actually a very fun class to use and when the full game comes out and we have access to the other 4 abilities and a massive skill tree, I predict some nasty things being made with this class people. So yes guys, those are my thoughts on the 4 classes. Now in the order I'd rank them from the demo, 4th place being the worst I'd definitely go with the Pyromancer without a doubt. 3rd spot within the demo I'd put the Devastator as it just feels like a low budget trickster. In at number 2 we have the Technomancer as it's by far the most unique to play with. And at number 1 we have my favourite being the trickster because everything within the demo is just easy work here. Now in terms of when the full game releases, my thoughts on the best to worst completely changes. Now obviously we can't judge right now but going off what we know in terms of the skill trees, the legendary armor sets and abilities combined, my prediction is as follows. The worst class in my opinion will be the trickster as it is going to be that one way system of use in terms of being limited in what it offers. But this might suit you as much as it will suit my playstyle so don't take this the wrong way. Third I'd go with the devastator as it really isn't much different than the trickster, it's just in my opinion from what I can see, it offers more in terms of end game. Second, I'd go with the Pyromancer as I truly feel within that end game. This will probably be the best class if used and worked right. And at number one, we have the Technomancer as I just feel in terms of an all round class, this will be that. This will fit into every situation and be great for each. But hey guys, those are just my thoughts. I'm still maining the trickster for the main game. But in terms of what each class will offer, I feel my prediction going into the full game is fair. But guys tell me down below your thoughts, what do you think is the best class for the demo, what do you think will be the best class all round class for the full game and what do you think will be the best end game class for the full game, let me know down below people. But on that note the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.